Welcome to Alicante. People are asking what is the best way to maximise a day trip to Alicante. So you've came through the airport, you come through the doors, through the lift, up the stairs, come right up to the very top and then come out to where you get the C6 bus. Now the C6 bus, as you just see behind us, does run about every 20 minutes into town. Now if you want to get in there even faster to Alicante, come straight out the airport and straight out to the taxi rank, where that will get you into town a little bit quicker, but it will cost you about 22 euros. And then when you head into Alicante, you'll go to the bus stop or the train station. If you go to the bus station, I'm gonna show you the quickest way around town and things to do to maximize your time in Alicante for your extreme day trip. Now this is the area obviously where the buses come into, this is the bus station and then if you're coming out this way, just come out the front of the bus station, turn left and then walk directly up this road here and that will take you into the centre of town. Now if you are getting a taxi into Alicante, get it to these hotels, the Millia Hotel which is right in the centre of the town, right in front of the casino and down at the harbour area. It's the best place to start your adventure in Alicante. But I suggest the first place you go is up there. The reason you want to start by going to the castle is if you walk along this way and we walk up along past the beach, if you're coming to Alicante just for a crazy day trip and all you want to do is lie on the beach, there is a beach two minutes not even two minutes walk from here and i'll show you that right now and as you walk down this street from the hotels there is a 100 monte ditos cien monte ditos which is a fantastic place to get cheap food and beer at two euros 50. now it is wednesday the 17th of january and as you can see there's lots of people on the beach so if you're looking for an extreme day trip to alicante just to come and lie on the beach all day and then go back home. Alicante is probably one of the best cities to do that. As you can see, even today, there are people sunbathing. And there are lots of people on the beach. But if you are not just wanting to lie on the beach, and spend your day on the beach. We're going to head along this way and I'm going to show you the entrance to the secret passage that takes you up to the castle. Yes, there is a lift and this lift will take you up to the castle. I do love this time of year because you have people that are obviously on holiday, sunbathing in bikinis and then you have the Spanish with their winter coats on and dressed for the winter. But it's around about 20 degrees today so it's a good time to come just to get some winter sunshine. If you're looking for some winter sun in Spain and you want a resort with a little bit of a difference, Alicante is definitely the place for that. I wonder if there are a couple of extreme day trippers <laughs> making use of their time here in Spain. Right, we're still heading up the beach. It does take around about five minutes from in front of the hotels to get up to the lift area that goes up to the castle. As you can see, the hotels, just in the background there, we've walked up in front of the beach. You want to come up, you want to walk over this pathway, over the main road. And there, here is the entrance to the lift area that takes you up to the castle. That's a cheap way to get up to the castle. If you've decided that the castle, which is up there, isn't for you, because um, it is a bit, it's nice to go up, but if it's not for you, make sure that you enjoy as much of the marina as possible. And make sure that you head around the side of the casino and go and try some of the restaurants around the other side, because not a lot of people know about them. They all just stick around this side of the marina. And then you also have the walkway that goes away down the front, back down to the bus station. One place you might also want to visit is this side of the marina and it's the Ocean Race Museum. 
where they have the, the yearly ocean race around the world. If you're feeling really fit, you could walk to way around the front, around the back of the castle, and up this road here. But it does take it out of you, but you do get spectacular views. And there, down there, is the bull ring. There's one thing, definitely take the lift. Although well, that is quite nice to walk through the old medieval entrance. Completely out of breath. <laughs> anyway, let's open to 5 o'clock at night, 5.30. What's new since I was last year is they are making you come through the shop to get into the castle. That's where before you could just walk up right through the gates. So yeah, it's good. And then there is lavatories. Toilets in the background. So there is a bar up here as well, a restaurant up the top, up here. And I'm gonna quickly show you up to the top of the castle. And then I'm gonna show you an easy way down. Good thing about this, it still has the original stone steps that they cut into the rock. You can still walk up these original steps that they would have used over a hundred years ago and even more to get up into this fantastic, absolutely amazing castle. I must be mad trying to do this in such a hurry in this area. <laughs> I'm out of breath. We do have bands on in the summer and it's a lot better than shade, which is nice. Now we're going up to the top. It's not for the faint hearted to walk up to this bit. It's as old as it is. It is worth it. And then once you come up that path there and you're out of breath, you see the old cannons. You can walk over to this part and you can see down onto the city there. And then what we're going to do is we'll walk around this way and see the car. Oh, I can't from this side. Right, let us find this easy way back down. When you come back down this path here, this bit is usually open, but if you walk this way, I'm sure it's this way. It's not this way, it's the other way. And it's closed. Hmm. Now let's see if it's closed as well. At least we ought to get down that way. So what I'm trying to do is there is a path, but it looks like they've closed it off. It's down there. But this pathway there you used to build ah there it is. So to get the easy way down back into town, you come down round the front of the castle out here, you walk down and you'll see a car park down there. You walk along the dirt track where you see those people there and then you head over to this bit here. Now this is the restaurant with the cracking views over towards San Juan and then the old church bit here. So obviously you would spend a lot longer at the castle than what I just have. I'm just trying to cram as much as I can in to show you exactly what you can do in a full day in Alicante. And there is another way down that you can come up through the town as well, which is this old road here, which takes you down towards nearer the beachfront. As you walk out the main gates of the castle, we head back down to where we came from. Now the reason you want to go this way is it takes you back into the old town of Alicante. So if you are limited for time and you want to see as much of the city as possible, come up through the front and then come back down this way as it does take you into the city centre. Good thing about this bit of the walk is in the shade. So if you're doing this during the summer, you might not be under the shade of the castle 
because the sun will be higher in the sky. Now, once you get to this point, it's easy. So I've just came up that path underneath the castle. You used to be able to come down through this way. It seems to be locked today. But then you want to walk along this pathway back down into the city centre. And as we come up through this way, it's a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier to walk down this side on this ramp than it is to walk up. So get the lift up is my advice to save you time and then come back this way. There's two ways. You want to make sure you come down the pathway because it does take you right back into the city centre. place you want to visit is the building, the old building, it is still set up as a museum and they do have Christmas fairs and everything set up. Now once you've walked down this way and you come down this road here from the castle, go down and cross the crossing here and then if you go up to the right hand side here you'll get up to where the bull ring is and um, it's basically a museum now but what I'm going to do is going to head further in to town to show you where somewhere cheap to go for lunch I have just crossed over the road there now you can walk up that way and it takes you about five minutes to get up to the bull ring I'm going to turn left here and there's a car park on my right hand side and I'm going to go to the, the local Mercadilla which is basically the local market and if, it's, if you're here early enough it's a fantastic place to um, grab a bite to eat and a coffee. Here we are, and well, that's the street there that we just walked up. And as you can see, there's a lovely little cafe bit right there. If you're looking to grab a drink, a fantastic little square also. And after that long walk up the castle, if you've not had a drink, you definitely need one. This place is highly recommended. And then if you want, you can then go through the market. That's what we're going to do now. Just a little nose. So this is one of the bigger ones in the region. And I've got to say, I love these. Local people do come and shop here. And it's basically there's lots of butchers, cheeses, hams. It's massive. And there is also some little bars in here, so if you want a little tapas, little tapas bar right there. And there's another one. So come in here, this is only open, I'm not too sure what time it closes, usually they close around about 2 o'clock. So if you're not here before then, you'll have missed out on some fantastic pickups from wine. Try the cheeses. But it is a fantastic area, so make sure that you come here and have a wander through this if you get here early enough to Alicante. And then you can go down the escalators here and it brings you back out onto one of the main streets. That is the building that we've just came out of. What you want to do is you want to cross over here. Now you want to head down this way. It is a pedestrian precinct. You want to head down this way because I'm going to take you to a place that is just off the beaten track before we head down to the street where the mushrooms are and some of the more touristy things that you want to see. So if you are looking for some cheap places to eat, make sure you try and get somewhere in the Mercadillo. Um, fantastically cheap little tapas bars in there. And there's also a really good ice cream shop there. There's loads of ice cream shops here. It's fantastic. A cappuccino. 120, 140 for a cappuccino. And we want to walk along this way to the next pedestrian street. Because even after all this walking, there are nice little bars that are hidden away. Right across from Empadillas, Argentina, if we cross over here, this is sort of the main pedestrian area from, from Edinburgh. It's a bit like Rose Street. We'll head down this way. And if you want to feel Spain at its best, if you want to feel what the Spanish are like at lunchtime, come to places like this. This will be absolutely mobbed in the afternoon. It'll be really busy. And... Um, 
you get to feel what it's like living in a Spanish city rather than the touristy zones. So we're going to go down here. Now there is a tapas bar that I could recommend down that way on the corner, but we're going to walk up this way because there's a nice little square up this way. And in the summer, you can sit at a restaurant, a tapas bar right underneath the, covered by the trees, give you a little bit of shade in the summertime. The good thing about this area, it is all little small tapas bars. So if you want to sit inside, you need to be really, really early to get in to get a table. But during the summer, sitting outside in the sun, what could be better? Now, here we are. TV crew. Anyway, you get to this little square here. And... This restaurant over here, under the trees, Tabanera. It's absolutely fantastic. So I won't go in, but if you're looking for somewhere that is really, really good value for money, shaded in the summer, in the summertime, it's the best place. Now, where to next, you, say, you ask? A lot of people want to know where Mushroom Street is. You then leave this bar, and you come out, you see Red Corner Sports Bar on the corner. We're going to walk straight down this road here, and this will take us down to where the mushroom street is because you want to do the touristy things as well so we'll walk down this way after having another little canya or coffee the street that we've just walked down is Cali Navas and you get to this point here that's what you've all been waiting for the mushrooms it even comes with a guy playing violin on the street in the background Now, if you still haven't eaten, because <laughs> you do a lot of eating when you're on these day trips, is that there's lots of tapas bars along this way, especially before you get to local police station. If you want to walk along this way, and then we'll head to another little hidden spot. It's a little hidden gem in Alicante. So I hope you enjoyed this so far. Make sure that you give this extreme day trip video around Alicante the thumbs up. It has been a quick one, but I'm still not finished. So make sure you keep watching to the end. Just as you get to the end where the Mushroom Street is, if you turn right next to the little bakery shop there and then it's an insurance, yeah it's an insurance, if you turn down this way, it does head you back down towards the front but this place is a little hidden gem in here, I'm going to just keep on walking and let you see this nice little square, now in the summertime these restaurants are all full and then um, you can hear the water in the background and wait till you see the age of these trees in this area. And um, it is good to come to this bit in the summer. So once you've been to this little square, you've been to the little tapas bar in the corner, number six, I think it's called, and then you walk straight down. This way it takes you to the front. Now I've got to say, this pizza bar in here, absolutely amazing. As nice as it is down this end of Alicante, we get back onto the main pedestrian area there is lots of bars and restaurants along this area but they are more expensive trust me if you want to live like a local go to the places that i've took you to come to the dubliners if you want a nice pint of guinness but then do come and visit this area it's fantastic it's one of the best parts of alicante but it is a little bit more expensive make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not to follow more of these i'm going to be doing more of these on uh, places to go from Alicante Airport on short day trips. Bonus one for you, if you've walked back up from the square that we're at with the trees, the, the Mushroom Street, Cali Castanos, you walk up this way and then there's a cracking little bar, La Mere. La Mere? Menu del Dia. 
Right, they've got a menu deal for 1390 in Alicante. That's absolutely it's five. You've got, a chance, you've got the choice of five starters, five second plates, four different puddings, or a coffee, you've got bread, and a drink for 1390. 1390. So, if you are coming to the lights of Alicante and you want something absolutely fantastic and good to eat, highly recommend this restaurant. So, for 13 euros 90. You got a three course meal, a drink, a coffee. Can't beat it. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this video of Alicante, an extreme day trip in Alicante. That's what I've shown you is kind of a quick way around the city. Just the way that I see it. Anyway, on that note, for me, the polar bear. The polar bear in Alicante, hasta luego.